Well, good morning, everybody. It is uh, a good morning to go deer hunting. Um, didn't get up real early because Aurora, she is uh, in the cone of shame right now. I don't know if she's around here. Wrong. But she's in the cone of shame. She had a uh, surgery. She had uh, got spayed. So, oh, yeah, here she is. There we go. Uh, poor dog. This poor dog. Yeah, she's in the cone of shame. So unfortunately she won't be able to go with us, but today we're gonna go deer hunting. I've got a couple of spots picked out, looks pretty good. I'm gonna be going solo today. My son has to go to school. I have the day off um, due to Veterans Day and I wanna salute our veterans. Um, thank you so much for your service. Thank you so much for what you've done. This country needs to remember the sacrifice that uh, those men and women, brave men and women uh, did so that we can enjoy our hunting and our fishing and all of our stuff so hats off to the military um thank you so much for everything that you do um so we celebrate uh veterans day by going hunting you're watching s b outdoors discover the world around you nothing like a good cup of coffee in the morning plain nothing in it trust me everybody that likes the lattes and stuff they're, they're fine they're like a sweet treat um but i don't know there's something about those ground beans that are just fantastic you know what's really funny um this isn't sponsored or anything i just like it um the McCafe, I've actually kind of gotten addicted to it. Um, the breakfast blend I've been really liking because I wanted like a bulk coffee that I can drink a bunch in the morning. It's pretty darn good. I have my really good coffee that I get from a local roaster, but uh, this stuff's pretty good. All right, let's go check out uh, the gear that I'm going to be taking with me. Okay, guys, so I've got some new gear that um, I'm going to be taking. I mean, it's not a lot of stuff, but it's just some new stuff. So... I've got a wind scent, so I don't know if you can see this, but this is basically on uh, one of these tripod things, so you can pop this apart. It's like it's like a selfie stick, so you twist it and then it extends, and then it's got like a tripod on the bottom, so it like stands up, and so that way we can get it up off the ground. Um, this one is the cheaper version because if it works, I'll buy the more expensive one that's like remote controlled and all that cool stuff. But if it doesn't work, then I'm only out like 50 bucks or whatever. But you basically kick this puppy on. It should start going. There it goes. And it will put out scent every so often. And this one is the seduction. Ooh. But it's supposed to be uh, basically dough in heat. Uh, smell is what this will put off and um, right now we're in the rut so yeah can't hurt maybe we can draw in some bucks with it the next thing I got is the same company makes these these little thermal pad things this is the first time I've ever used these two um, they're basically like a little little pad with uh, scent on them this is gonna be uh, my cover scent is what this is gonna be it's called sanctuary it's supposed to be like a woody woodland smell or whatever to help kind of cover my human stink um but what the what the cool thing about this is is they make a device that these go in but i can't remember how much it is it's expensive but here's the cool thing i have a thermocell and the thermocell will do the exact same thing so basically you take it just like the thermocell cards and put it in the thermocell and the thermocell will heat it up and make it disperse that scent and it basically does the same thing so that's what i've been doing some research on everybody says hey if you have a spare if you have a thermosel running around it's cold this time of year at least where i'm from here in kansas it's cold so there's not really any bugs around so this is basically shelved for this time of the year well i can pull it back out and use these so we will give these a shot so this one will go with me up in the stand and this one will go down on the ground. Uh, we'll extend it, but it'll go down on the ground uh, to give that seduction. So anyway, at least that's the that's the idea. None of this is sponsored. This is just some tools, some gear that I I picked up. So none of it's sponsored. Um, 
If it works well, I may put some uh, Amazon links down below. Now, those are affiliate links. Those do help out the channel and uh, help me out to keep bringing you uh, good content. So um, I may put some Amazon links to my affiliate down there, um, but I'll, I'll put them down there if, if this stuff seems to work. Anyway, but I got everything else, but that's the kind of, that's the two new kind of tools and be taken out. Oh, I'll take out. Today we'll be shooting the Barnett uh, Whitetail Hunter. This will be the, uh, the crossbow of choice. I'm a crossbow fan. I like guns. Um, I'm not real big on pulling the bow. Um, and today we'll also be checking out, if I can get it out, uh, we'll be doing the Rage Broadheads. Now this is one that uh, the little plastic thing popped off on, so I'll have to replace it. But we'll be using the Rage Hyperdermic uh, Broadheads today. Like I said, I gotta replace uh, the plastic thing on this one. But basically what happens is when it hits, this spreads out. I don't know if you can see that. But it spreads out and it'll spread out to a two inch cut, which works really, really well. So we'll be using this today. Like I said, these are reusable. You just have to buy these little plastic things that, that go on it that hold it, hold it shut till impact hits. Are you done? I don't know if you could hear that, but she loves to scratch. She loves to scratch that thing, and it's funny because she's she's not scratching. You okay? Well, anyway, so those are the rod heads that we'll be using today. So, uh, in any case, get some stuff together, get our coffee, get our get our clothes on, get showered, uh, remove as much stink as we can, and we'll hit up the uh, hit up the trail, see what see what's out there, or what we can pull in using this thing. I did see some deer in the field to the south and I know we got another bow hunter that's in the southern side of everything so hopefully he does good today but I saw a few that were standing over in that field so hopefully they come up north hopefully they come up here so in any case we're gonna get set up and we'll we'll see what happens camera on. Seems to be working. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. 
Here, strapped up to the tree. It's a little cold. It's not. It's not horrible. We got out late, though. Like I said in the beginning, my Aurora dog. She. Uh, she's in the cone of shame, so I have to watch her. So I had to watch her till everybody else woke up. Otherwise, I'd, I'd have been out here at five. But who's to say that's good and that's bad? Kind of keeping an eye on wind scent down there. I don't know. I don't know if it's still putting out scent. I'd like to hope that it is. I may go down and check it here before too long, but for right now I haven't seen anything. I've seen some squirrels and stuff like that. But no deer yet. We'll just hang out. guys I think we might have gotten skunked I didn't really see anything I kind of wondered I was gonna come out kind of came out late morning so I kind of figured that we probably wouldn't see anything but hey you never know and like I said <clears throat> it was fun to see the turkeys and see some of the other birds I normally would probably just go ahead and stay out here um, and just just wait but uh, they are doing logging I can hear them firing up chainsaws over there. So, I mean, if there's any deer around, they're they gone. <laughs> so, they're, they're going to run the deer out of here. So, um, I'm guessing they're probably all going to go to the south. And since we've got uh, another guy bow hunting in the south, um, that's probably where the deer are probably going to go. They're, they're going to probably move away from that sound. So, um, we'll hope that he gets his you know because when that guy gets his then he won't be out here anymore <laughs> but that's okay that's that's good you know we 
we hope for the best for each of us you know for all of us hunters you know that's that's what we hope for there's plenty of deer out here there's tons of them i see them all over my cameras and everything else so i think and i don't know if my wind scent down there has been working we'll check the liquid level in it i don't think it's been working oh it's been lovely being out here though it's been too long since i've been able to just get out here and sit i don't know there's some something about just sitting just sitting in the woods you know just sitting <sighs> telling you with all the stuff that's going on and if you feel like you know everything's crazy and you know the world's crazy and all this stuff just get out here just get out here even if you're not a hunter even if you're not a hunter just just get out in the woods and just sit just take a chair and just sit just sit in the woods I'm telling you bring you peace sure brings me peace you don't have the TV rolling you don't have all the crazy stuff there's no like trying to figure out what's right what's wrong what's the truth what's not the truth it's just it just is out here and it's a good thing it's a very good thing kind of helps kind of press a reset button in your mind you know Pretty soon all the stuff that you're worried about just kind of seems to go away. Thought I heard footsteps. Maybe not. Well, in any case, I think I'm going to crawl out of this thing. I know I've said that four or five times now, but let's see what happens. We'll begin our descent. <clears throat> I need to kind of shore this thing up a little more too. Noticing that it's not exactly tied against the tree. was an interesting trip. Well, yeah. That hasn't been putting scent out. I didn't think it did. Well, maybe it has. Maybe it has, because it's wet. Huh. Shows that it's still on. That's good. That's good to find out to find out that your, your equipment's working. Right. Yeah, there's where, uh, where the turkeys were. It was about over in there. So yeah, interesting. Well, it was a hike to get back, but nothing too bad. Well, didn't exactly go perfectly, but at least we got to get out. Get out and see some stuff, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, that's what it's all about though, really. It's getting out in the woods, getting out in the woods, having a good time while doing it okay guys well we made it back so we're back at the house um it was it was a fun time um i'm not gonna lie i had fun going out there but uh would have been better if we'd have brought something back but anyway that's okay i think the loggers ended up running us out uh by the end of it so uh anyway it was still fun to go out hope you enjoyed uh coming along with me on this um now it is time for some lunch 
I'm going to make myself something, and then I've got some other video to shoot for some other stuff that we're going to be doing, because we've got to prepare for duck season, um, because uh, we're still we're still in duck season here in Kansas, so we're going to go duck hunting again. i got some friends that are going to join us, so that's going to make for another awesome video, and uh, I've got that coming up, so i got to go out today to move some decoys around, set up a few blinds and things like that. I may take you along with me on that ride as well, but as far as this video is concerned we are done so make sure to like subscribe share all that jazz uh check me out uh check out the links below in the description uh for the different equipment that i do i've got some amazon affiliate links down there and if you click on those um check out you don't even have to buy what i'm putting down there you could just click that link and buy whatever you want and that just helps the channel out so guys thank you so very much i'll talk to you next time